in a performance hall, you want the sounds to ring. You want them to, to resonate some and have a decay that takes longer. In a rehearsal situation, what you really want is that decay not to last so long so that the sounds don't get masked by other sounds. It's really about being able to hear everyone and others being able to hear them themselves and everyone else in, in a manner that helps them to, to, to play better. And in this room, some of the sound is absorbed, not everything, but a big part of this room is the sound diffusion. And sound diffusion means that we're not going to get a 180 degree slap back echo. The sound is going to be divided up around the room. And you do that by creating angles around the room. Sound absorption takes the sound away and, and pulls it out of the environment. But if you do too much of that, then you lose all the beauty. We needed to absorb some of the sounds and diffuse other, other sounds. The amount of absorption as opposed to diffusion, I don't. I think it, it's kind of an educated guess, and that's where we rely on you guys in order to tell us, okay, in this room, what is it going to take for us to achieve the desired result in a band rehearsal hall related to, okay, we look at all of the diffusion that's going to take place, now how much absorption do we need? I think we're in pretty good shape. There's some ring, some beauty, so that the performers have a quality about their, their rehearsing uh, that they're pleased with, and also that I can hear all of the sounds without some of the, the pitches being absorbed so much that it's an unusual balance when we finally get to it.